Yo, so I'm back day six. Um, well, it weren't really day six. It was the evening of day five. I had another trading session on my phone. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys. I did an hour of trades and this is one of them videos that I'm glad I captured because I got a lot of trades wrong and I want to show you guys that I don't always get it right. I get it wrong more than I get it right. But the ones that I do get right, I just put more weight on. So as you can see, I was really confident with them buys for some reason. I don't know why, but then I saw there's a head and shoulders pattern forming. And as soon as I seen that red candle break, I was like, yeah, you know what? The trend's reversing. So what I'm going to do is slap on a load of sells. And really this whole this whole time it's just about timing those sells and getting a few buys on the pullbacks. That's all I was doing really. Um, and you see a couple of times I get caught out in a sell that took too long and then the pullback kind of got me. Um, and you know I'm flipping and flopping here because I'm thinking wow that's a big green candle maybe it's got to pull back more. Always keeping in mind the Fibonacci levels. I don't have a Fibonacci tool with this app, but I can kind of remember the sort of retracement levels that price may go to. So keep that in mind. So here I put on a lot of like, I think 10, 15 minute sales. And if I had just put five minutes, the video would be over by by now, but it is what it is. So I get caught in a, in a long sell that doesn't go my way. So I just keep trading. Because what I want to do is I want to end every session in profit. I don't want to end in a loss. And yeah, so confident in in the bearish market. And just looking for those those candles. And you can see here, get a pullback with a green. So going whenever I'm with the trend, I'll, I'll put on a longer time frame. Uh, for my trade and whenever I know I'm trading a pullback I'll keep it short and sweet because you don't want to get caught in a pullback and have price go against you so yeah that's about it really still growing the demo account because I realized Quotex takes about five days to approve uh, your credit card details so whilst I'm waiting for that I'm just going to keep learning to trade with this platform keep learning to you know to, today I only had about like 15% risk at, at maximum at any time which is kind of how I will be trading so this is a bit more accurate as to my actual style as you see we switch coins we get in a really nice sell position and that wraps it up so yeah we had a, another profit of around 10k I'll put the put the digits in the screen and yeah accounts growing nicely so that's a little day six update and peace.